Medicine Sans Frontières, an emergency organization, we needed a place where we can put people in situation here in the middle of cold, freezing Belgium uh, to prepare them to go to hotspots in the world where they have to be able to be operational the moment they arrive. Espace Bruno Corbet. First and foremost, it's a fantastic project. Uh, essentially, it breaks down into three core activities, training, innovation and development. And it's completely worn away on the inside. And what's terrible is you cannot see that from the outside. So in terms of training, for example, we've had uh, about 150 training days in 2011. We're talking medical trainings, logistic trainings, Watson trainings. Uh, and people come from all over the world here to the Espace Bruno Corbet in Brussels uh, to receive training. And so of the 35 different missions, uh, not just MSF Belgium, but also other MSF sections. And increasingly we're having other organisations, for example, Bioforce and Handicap International have both run trainings here in 2011. The communication equipment, uh, uh, the water and sanitation tools, uh, everything in terms of shelter, tents. We have it all to prepare people appropriately, I think. So one of the main reasons why we're here in Brussels is that we're close to the MSF Belgium headquarters. And that means that there are over 80 technical experts available for training. We can get the students out there setting up, a, for example, a vaccination point or a cholera treatment centre or a viral hemorrhagic fever circuit, which is much more interesting than sitting behind a PowerPoint or uh, reading a book. Getting out there, getting your hands on, getting stuck in. So the second core activity I'd say was innovation. We've run 17 different projects in 2011 here at the Espace Bruno Corbet. To give you three examples, we've designed and built a glass crusher and it's essentially a machine for crushing the glass vials which are produced uh, by hospitals and clinics to reduce their volume. Another example is the field ambulance. And so we took a standard uh, Toyota Land Cruiser which has already done 235,000 kilometers in Congo. It's come here for its retirement. Uh, and we've, we've ripped out the back seats and completely re-equipped it as a, a field ambulance. Another example of an ongoing innovation project is the Modular Field Hospital. Originally developed by MSF France, it consists of several inflatable tents. And it's fantastic to have it here because not only can we show it to people so they're familiar with the equipment before they have to use it in the field, we can run tests in it, uh, see how it fares in the Belgian weather, see what adjustments need to be made, contact the supplier, invite the supplier here. Uh, we can run uh, scenarios inside it to look at the patient flow and generally improve the product in itself. All the surgeons and anesthetists who have come back from Goriel are quite happy with the operating theater because they're amazed in the middle of nowhere. You have a complete operating theater. They're able to maintain the sterility, uh, that good hygiene conditions and the waste management. So if you have a real emergency like the one that we had in Haiti, it works out very, very well. And finally, development. And for me, this is a, it's very exciting to be able to host uh, conferences. So this center is not just for MSF, it's an open door to all kinds of humanitarian actors and organizations. We've had Handicap International, we've had Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. It's a platform for exchange. Anyone can come here and visit to get a feel for the work that MSF does in the field and anyone heading out as an aid worker can come here for hands-on training because it's as close as it gets to actually being in the field.